Right, I just made myself this uh, regular donut chuck for turning spheres. What I don't like about these is you end up with loads of. I've already got. I don't know how many of them I've got, but they're everywhere um, for every size of sphere. Um, so I was trying to think of a more general solution, and there was a video a while ago on Alan Stratton's channel that gave me this idea of using pins in a set of he did it straight in his chuck carrier drawers but I didn't like that idea because if one broke it's going to be difficult to get out of there so I've got a secondary set of carrier drawers just like with my um, pipe turning jaws they go on a secondary set of carrier jaws and with a series of holes and a series of pins I can chuck a sphere is between one inch and four inches I could have made it slightly bigger so I could have gone to six inches I suppose um, or you could turn cubes or, or you know, rectangles of wood between one and a half inch and five inches with this and the advantage of this over the other chuck apart from having that full range of sizes is when I need to reposition the sphere it's really easy to, to do so yeah I'm, I'm liking the idea of this but I thought I'd just, just do a video about other this is another chucking option that I've just sort of come up with um, which is this thing is called a, a dropping a stainless steel dropping anchor there's a little wedge pellet inside there and this one is a 10 millimeter go it's probably going in a blind 10 millimeter hole um, and it's an expanding mandrel really so I'm gonna file some flats on there so I can get an 8 mil spanner on it there's an 8 mil threaded rod in the collet um, and then by tightening that up it expands and clamps the inside of a 10 millimeter hole you can also get those with the M6 threaded rod and an 8 millimeter uh, mandrel so I'll be getting one of those I, I found that on the counter at my local fixing shop and I wondered what it was I thought that would make a good mandrel so there's that another recent one was these pipe pipe centers and I'll probably end up making these in a variety of sizes they could do cubes you could turn a cube between centers that way or things like this tetrahedron or anything else with a bit of a point use it with hot glue hot glue in there plenty of hot glue around it um, and it, it worked they worked really well a live center that slips over my uh, standard live center and a uh, just a piece of tube in a collet chuck as you drive there's that one another option is pin pin uh, chucks which is just a piece of round bar with a flat filed on it and then a pin so when that pins in there it's the same the hole in that let me get the right one the right pin I've got a variety of these um, when the pin's in there you put that in a blind hole and as it turns the pin moves across it locks the, the workpiece onto that mandrel and you turn on a blind hole they work really good um, of course you've got your uh, standard um, cup centers for turning spheres and, and lots of other options but yeah, I just thought I'd go over some of the options that I've come found out about developed changed modified improved over the last couple of years I suppose thanks for watching